All right, and today on RC Falls, I'm going to do a long-awaited upgrade on my FTX Zorro. I've had this car for about probably more than 20 months now. I've used it once. I've really enjoyed it. But um, on that time that I used it, I did a backflip, easy for me to say, and um, <clears throat> I damaged one of the uh, rear arms and so I ordered up a replacement and uh, I had to get a hinge pin as well put that on and at the time I had some other upgrades floating about for it so I put those on at the time and then it just sort of got put to one side I think I then it wasn't wasn't too much longer after that that um, I think I got the DRA I might have actually got a DR8 before the Zorro. I can't remember now. Uh, there was a period where I just bought like about 10 cars within the space of about two months. And um, I um, kind of like, you know, just started getting into using uh, some of the other cars that I bought. And as much as I like the Zorro, at some point I um, built my Senton and they're very similar cars uh the senton uh was quicker and um if i wanted to take out that type of uh car like a short course car then um i kind of gravitated to the senton but uh, i really like the zorro and um, what i want to do today is uh, the last upgrade that i bought for it and um, I never fitted, and that was, oh, this. So that's a aluminium chassis plate to replace uh, the plastic one. There's already some upgrades on there. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'll angle the camera down and um, I'll cut back and forth to doing uh, the upgrades on the car and then we'll have a look at it once it is complete. Right, so here is uh, the Zorro and it's covered in dust because it's just been like sat in storage. So what I'll do is I'll get the body off and um, I'll go through some of the upgrades that are already on there. Okay, so the only upgrades that um, I've already installed on this is the aluminium body shocks all round. Um, they're, um, they're pretty similar to the plastic bodied ones, but I thought um the price was right so i put those on the carbon fiber front and rear shock towers now the ones that I, I didn't actually get the ones for the zorro as you can see the ones that i got are actually for the vantage and the only modification that i had to make to fit them because they're pretty much exactly the same is this rear body mount I had to change that so I cut the original posts off and another reason for doing that was because because of the, the, the shape of the shell on the Zorro anyone who's got one will tell you that you've got this little opening here and it's absolute nightmare to get the body pins on and off at, at the rear so what I did to make that easier I was going to cut the hole out bigger but what I did was um, I rotated these different uh, body posts on there so that the pins went in at a different angle it's still a little bit fiddly but you can actually get them on so as I said aluminium body shocks carbon fibre shock towers and again the, the reason that I went for the, the Vantage ones over the Zorro ones because they're pretty much the same price is the Zorro ones had more holes and cutouts in them and they looked weaker whereas the Vantage ones were quite solid and they was virtually the same 
so I went that route because I thought they these ones would be stronger. The um, the only other sort of real upgrades I did was when I replaced the servo in my DR8, I took the 15 kilogram one out of the DR8 and I put that into the Zorro. Not going to be able to see that from there, but yeah, that's that's a 15 kilogram. I think stock ones were were nine, and I think the stock one that come out of this went in one of my Tamiya's. There's a Dumbo RC receiver in there uh, with gyro, and I think the only other upgrade that I can think of is this metal uh, part of the chassis here. Stock, it's plastic, and what tends to happen is it rips here where my finger is, like it pulls out the front bumper. Yeah. So I replaced that, and um, that's pretty much it. I think it's great as it is. I really like these. I, I know uh, probably people are looking for a trophy truck. Uh, if they're looking like cheaper and they're looking at the FTX range, they might go for the Apache, which is newer than the Zorro. I actually prefer the Zorro because you have actually got a proper center diff in there. It definitely handles uh, really well, and uh, I think the other the other thing with the Apache, I'm pretty sure the Apache's got like a 60 amp ESC. This has got an 80 amp ESC, and I've left that stock, and I've left the motor stock. I think there are 20. Uh, I'm pretty sure there, yeah, there are 20, 2,900 kV. So you could really like sort of like go a little bit a little bit more higher kv if you wanted to but when i took this out over over the big fields where we go to i really enjoyed it and i really liked the way it handled it was this this uh was the rear arm that i broke and it broke it broke here on the arm and it it the, uh, the hinge pin that goes through there it bent it which is what actually broke the arm so they're, they're pennies to buy and it was a very awkward landing so I think it I wouldn't say it was a one-off but I would say it was you know it, it would have been hard to replicate that but um I really like this car I like the look of it I actually think the Zorro looks um, even though they look very similar, I, I think the Zyro looks better than the Senton. Um, but anyway, that's enough waffling. I'm, uh, I, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get that bottom chassis plate swapped over. So get rid of this plastic one, get the metal one on. And what I do, I'll cut back and forth as I'm doing that. And, um, and then we'll see how it looks when it's done. All right, so I've unscrewed all the screws that are underneath and hopefully that will let me remove everything. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, carefully laid plans go down the shooter there. Probably lost the screw. Um, what what I will do is I'll see if I can quickly reorganise them while I remember the pattern. Right, I managed to slide the old chassis out. These two. Uh, there's two spaces here. Do you know what? I think I've got some uh, alloy ones of them. So before I put them back on, I'll, I'll double check that actually. Um, the only thing you need to do, once you've unscrewed everything, it, it will sit like this. So you, before you do it, don't bother unclipping or unbolting any of this. You can do just by undoing underneath. And all I really had to do was prise the um, ESC off so I will clean up the bottom of that before I go back on but yeah don't don't take anything off from the top just do everything from the bottom and it will 
it will slide out. Um, hopefully I'll remember where all of those screws go. There was only a couple of different, there was about three different sizes, so hopefully I'll be all right. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rummage through me FTX upgrade spares, see if I've got some of those. Yeah, I did. So I found them. So I've got the alloy ones. Let's. Uh, so that's the part number. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, get those swapped over as well. What I'm going to do is get the uh, aluminium chassis plate. Uh, located and um, and then I'll come back right so it attaches um, back together very easily you do have you've, you've got a few different screw types but uh, you've basically got they're all uh, most of them are all M3 machine screws get it to do but you've basically got the shortest ones which are these ones uh, they're all M3 and you've got shortest ones that are the bulk of the screws you've got two longer ones that go underneath for the, to locate the steering uh, and you've got four slightly shorter ones that go in the back to hold on the rear diff housing and then the smallest ones like hold on the motor mount um, and various other parts then you've got some other screws you've got three big ones and these aren't aren't machine screws they screw into plastic you've got three of them that uh, hold on the battery tray and you've got two more that screw into the servo mount so it's pretty straightforward like you you won't need to remember like how anything goes and um what i'm going to do now i've got the, the, the front in the rear bolted in i don't know if you, you probably can't see on on camera there but those aluminium parts i replaced the plastic ones they just go underneath there uh, for the steering all i'm going to do now is reattach all the other screws and then I shall clean up the bottom of this ESC, dig out some tape and um, get that uh, securely fixed into place. So I'll bring you back when I've done that. Right, so everything's attached now, all screwed. All I've got to do is just clean off the bottom of that. So. I shall use some of this with a little cotton swab and hopefully that will get the last of that residue off. Right, so everything is all back together. What I will do is I'll just point out, if I can just get that. So when, when you um, undo all your screws, these four at the back, they're all the same size. They're sort of like the medium length M3 machine screws. And then you've got these two here, they're the longest machine M3 machine screws, they're for the steering. And then th these four, so you've got one, two, three, four. Uh, and then you've got these ones here that are for the motor mount and obviously the center diff. They are all the same length. 
and you've also got two more here that hold the servo on they're machine screws but they do go into plastic but they're all the same length so the majority of these screws that you take out are all m3s they're all, they're all quite short then you've got four at the back that are slightly longer and then these two here which are the longest and then additionally on here you've got two m3 self-tapping screws that hold on the receiver box and then you've got these three larger uh, uh, self-tapping screws they hold on the battery box they're the only three that you'll need a 2.5 mil hex driver for the rest that you take out are all two now as i said before when you take off your old plastic tub you do not need to undo anything from the top so leave everything all attached all your cable ties on all you're gonna do is prise off the ESC which is held on by tape so make sure you've got another sticky pad to reattach that and just undo those screws from underneath and bear in mind as I said here you um, you will have those two spacers up that go underneath the steering arms they will drop out uh, I've, I've upgraded mine to the alloy ones but you can just use uh, the plastic ones as well but that's all you need is something to prise off caref carefully prise off USC tape to reattach it 2 mil hex 2.5 mil hex and um, that's it it's a really easy upgrade and as I said what, what you want to do is make sure when you buy the um, uh, metal chassis plate get this front metal chassis plate as well because that's that's a weak point on there and one of the things I, I will, will say is when you're doing up those screws even the ones that are going into uh, the, like the metal motor mount don't crank them up just do everything up nice and tight now the only screw I found that had some thread lock on now you've got these three here these hold the motor mount on and it was this one here that's in the middle of the three that I had to use I wouldn't say false but what I did was I made sure I had a good 2 mil hex and then I slid me 2.5 mil in the end and used that um, and just go really careful with it if you've got one that has got some uh, thread lock on it just go really careful you don't need to heat it up but you do need to make sure you've got a really good driver that fits in there snug and that will all work out fine so there it is the uh, Zorro now has as far as I'm aware unless I've got something else laying about it's got all the upgrades that I initially bought for it when I first got the car I really like that metal chassis uh, I'm not saying it's better than the plastic one um, but if you like tinkering around with your cars it's it's a nice little upgrade so um, hopefully I will get out with this soon um, I know I keep saying that, but I've got so many cars. Uh, the, the biggest one, I want to take the Asuga out because I haven't used it yet. I do want to take this out. Uh, and actually, I just want to take them all out, really. What I'm going to do is I'll cut away. I'll get the shell on. And then um, if I can fit it on the desk, I'll do a side-to-side -side with the uh, comparison with the Senton. Right, as you can see, I haven't really got the room to get these on there in cam. So, um, but yeah, just a quick, quick side by side. The same wheelbase, virtually the same size. I'd say the the Senton is just slightly bigger body, body wise, but um, they're virtually the same car. But I actually, prefer, I, lo I like the Senton, but I do prefer the look of the FTX because it's got the um, 
open windows, you've got the drivers and everything inside, where the scent and is just a shell. And I do think the Zorro shell, because it's got the internal cage, will probably like hold up to a bit more rough and tumble. As you can see, they're both covered in dust. I, I need to get out and use them. They're both fantastic cars. I love both of them. Right, so that was the upgrade on the Zorro. Hopefully we'll get out with it soon. Um, I did a community post earlier on today and I don't know if you've seen that. I did mention that I was gonna do a video on the Zorro upgrade. The next video I'm doing is I've managed to really, uh, to pick up via eBay, um, probably the first remote control car I had as a child that was what you would call a proper remote control car. Um, it's from 1981, by today's standards, it's a toy, but um, you know, it had proper steering, forward and reverse, and that's gonna feature on the channel towards the end of the week. So yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the upgrade on the Zorro. I appreciate a lot of the videos recently have just been me waffling and doing some upgrades, bench testing a few bits and pieces. Uh, the weather is starting to pick up. Now, as I said, I am relocating up north uh, to go and stay with my girlfriend and um but i what i am going to do now i wasn't planning to but what i am going to do now is is keep um a base down here as well um and i will we will like flip back between the two as and when we can so it op it means i can carry on doing uh videos and stuff with spencer and byron um but it also means that um while i'm up north i can check out a few new locations as well i don't normally say this but like it really appreciate if you could uh like and subscribe obviously if you like the video and that and um hopefully i'll i'll you know we get some running footage and some uh, more exciting content on the channel very soon all right thank you